What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will be talking about what it means to have your Venus in your partner's 12th house. But before I begin the video, I would like to remind you all to please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you like the video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get into this video. So this can make for a connection between two people that is very elusive in some way. It can be the kind of connection that feels and even looks like a fantasy. And the two partners might experience this as being the kind of connection that is some kind of an escape from a public life. Um, when they get together, they could be enjoying a kind of an escape together. The love between partners with this overlay could be very deep and it could even be very unconditional and it can even be very spiritual as it exists on a higher octave. The two partners really do get each other and to a point where they could even share a psychic connection. Because the 12th house is such a unconscious and vague and even foggy house, Venus coming into this house can create a relationship that takes on a nature of that kind. So there could be a lot of mystery and a lot of secrets um, between both of the partners. It could be that they are not sure about each other's feelings towards each other because they aren't seeing each other very clearly with this overlay. But it could also be that this connection exists in secrecy and is something that has to stay hidden from the public. The house person in this connection can be more oblivious to the Venus-like qualities of the Venus person. And so that could be the Venus person's feelings on a romantic level towards the house person, as well as all of the things that make Venus really a beautiful um, and pleasant. This, these are traits of the Venus person that the house person may unconsciously take for granted, or they could even question them and doubt that they are even there and this is because the house person isn't really able to see as clearly in this 12th house where everything is a bit of a mystery and a little bit foggy and so it becomes a little bit difficult to see those traits and then it plays out as the house person taking the venus person for granted it can also play out as the house person really misunderstanding their feelings and kind of being confused about the more emotional feeling um, kind of aspect of this overlay but on the contrary end the venus person may actually be the person that is hiding their feelings that they have for the house person for some reason and so with them keeping their feelings to themselves and keeping that as a secret it could come across as it could end up as both of the partners missing that opportunity to share in that loving connection with each other. And so what this can result in is unrequited love between the two partners. Because the house person is kind of unconscious, especially in this house, they are the person that's not really going to be able to feel or see that, um, that connection that they could potentially share. So it's all up to the Venus person more so. So if the Venus person chooses to keep their feelings um, under wraps or keep their feelings hidden for the house person, then it's possible that the relationship doesn't take off on a romantic level because for the house person, it, it's possible that it never even occurred to them that the Venus person could share feelings for them on a romantic level. And so the house person really having such a hard time being able to understand the feelings that they feel in this house for the Venus person can also look like the house person kind of giving the Venus person a little bit of the runaround. And that can create feelings of mistrust from the Venus person towards the house person because of the way they are so vague and they seem so mysterious and like they are secretive about the way they feel about the venus person and in a romantic relationship this overlay can make for a connection where the venus person especially may have times where they are made to feel kind of unseen 
and like they need that consistent frequent reassurance from the house partner that the house partner does love them and is proud to have them because this is the kind of relationship that is keep kept hidden from the public in some way and can be the kind of connection that stays on the low it can also sometimes show that one or both of the partners is unavailable and that can be on an emotional level or on a physical level um, but there is some unavailability between both of the partners which is why this is such an elusive and ungrounded kind of a connection on the positive this can be a very nice kind of connection that's shared between two people the love is very unconditional and it exists on a higher octave the two partners can even help each other grow and it can even look like a twin flame kind of a connection. This is because of the mirroring nature that is usually associated with twin flames. It can also be associated with Venus in your partner's 12th house. So with that mirroring effect, the partners can reflect to each other their deepest insecurities, their fears and their shadow side and they can both help each other overcome the side of themselves which creates an even stronger bond between the two partners. And the connection that they share is one that can be very psychic. They could be able to communicate with each other through energies and so by just looking at each other they could be able to understand what the other is thinking and what the other person may need. They could also feel each other's emotions and with this being the 12th house about the unconscious, they could even be able to, to communicate to each other through dreams that they may have of one another. The house person especially may have that theme of having dreams of the Venus person. And so the connection can feel very magnetic and like a strong pulling force between the two partners when they first meet can even feel predestined like it's a karmic relationship which it very well could be and if you would like to know more about karmic relationships i do talk more about it in my pluto in partners 12th house video anyway back to the video the house person feels like they have found somebody that really gets them and that genuinely accepts them for who they are when they meet the venus person and they could even idealize the Venus person and think very highly of them. But that is not to say that the house person would express that to their Venus partner so blatantly as this is the house where things are kind of kept a little bit um, secretive for whatever reason that they may have. The connection between the two partners can be one that is kind of haunting and the connection can be one that tends to stop and start and start again. And this can be the kind of connection where both of the partners come in and out of each other's lives over time. This can make for a placement that can be a little bit difficult or challenging. It requires a lot of emotional maturity from both of the partners. And because it's the 12th house, it can also have to do with the house of sacrifice. And so, there could be some kind of sacrifice that needs to take place in this um, between the partners or from one of the partners or both of the partners. And the Venus person especially is willing to make that sacrifice if it means the happiness of the house person. Overall, it's likely that this connection has come into both of the partners' lives to teach them something. After this connection, it's possible that they end up in a place where they are better aligned with their purposes and they are able to really appreciate what they have in their lives and they are also pushed to be better and to do better and they are also pushed to recognize new and higher heights. The connection can be very expansive on a spiritual level for both of the partners and it can be the kind of connection that brings light to the house person as well as the venus person's unconsciousness and if say the house person is in the field of some kind of artistry or anything that requires some kind of creativity the venus person can be very much of an assistance to the house person in making themselves being able to recognize their potential and helping them with feeling better about themselves and even giving them some kind of inspiration 
So that combination of Neptune and Venus really creates some really beautiful art and can really be a great inspiration and muse. Well, that does it for this video on having your Venus in your partner's 12th house. If you liked the video, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and be a part of helping this community to grow. Well, that is where I love and leave you. Thank you so much for watching the video and I will catch you in the next video.